Come on, some food. You don't want food? <laughs> Apple, your favorite. Come. Apple, your favorite. Okay, I leave it here. Hi everyone! Another day, another video. Today we are talking about prairie dogs. He's downstairs and he's pissed up just by me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna make a close up so you can see the beautiful prairie dogs. They, they are coming from North America. Prairie dogs are coming from North America. They get their names from the environment they live in, which is a, which are prairies, and uh, their voice, the, the sound they are making, it's like dog. But they are not dogs, they are rodents. Yeah, these guys are amazing. The places they are living in, uh, in summer uh, can get uh, hot, like uh, 38 degrees Celsius, and in uh, winter can reach minus 37 Celsius. How they survive in that cold environment in winter, they, uh, they borrow t uh, tunnels. They borrow tunnels and they go under the ground and they hibernate in winter. Uh, they diet uh, in captivity, we feed them with hay, timuti hay, 80% um, of their diet um, is based on timuti hay. And uh, apple, sometimes we give them corn, and uh, they like carrot, and sunflower seeds, all these things, uh, whatever you offer them, like vegetables and uh, greens and stuff like that they are eating but uh, one thing they uh, you offer them too much of food they eat they uh, don't say no to food and that can cause obesity to your beautiful prairie dog which is pissed off with me and just bite me yeah these guys have very strong uh, claws very strong hands so they can uh, borrow in the ground they, they dig like 5 or 10 meters sometimes under the ground and they are very socialized animal they live in a group uh, and unlike other rodents uh, they only give birth uh, uh, they get pregnant only one time in a year like rabbits or rats or hamsters they do it more frequently but these guys only uh, they get pregnant once uh, in a year uh, I don't know why. Yeah, in the nature, you can see uh, you. They were they have they've been seen uh, that they kill that they kill uh, other squirrels and other mammals. Uh, I think it's because of the because of the, the uh, they eat the same food and uh, they are pretty ter 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 territorial. Yeah, my English. Yeah, you happy now? You bite me. You see my finger? I'm bleeding. Ah, he feels shy. Go and hide. What is it? Peace? Okay, peace. <laughs> he likes when I massage her chest and hands and uh, he is enjoying it. But very naughty boy. Anyway, uh, in captivity, you, ha you don't uh, put the water dish inside the cage. Uh, you provide uh, a water... Uh, something like uh, I'm gonna show you uh, it's like uh, the, the one for uh, hamsters and uh, chinchillas it's same it's the bottle uh, the things is going inside they drink but uh, to be honest I, I don't see much drinking water because in the nature they don't they don't have access to much of water they don't drink much uh, that's not a big deal they get the they get they stay hydrated uh, through the food they are eating. 
like I said, uh, like chinchillas and other rodents, the uh, teeth is growing instantly. That means that the, the teeth keep growing and they have to tear it down. You have to provide for them uh, toys. What toys you are giving to your prairie dog, uh, just make sure it's a very strong one. And uh, I'm using uh, parrot toys, uh, big parrot toys. So it takes for them a long time to destroy it all. You can tame your prairie dog. Um, this one is a rescue and uh, have a very bad attitude actually. Uh, it's biting. But um, yeah, when he's inside the, when you bring him outside of the cage, he feel uncomfortable and start biting and scratching and all. Uh, I have to work on him. That's why you you cannot see him in the video. And yeah, it's lying down there. Like I said. Uh, in their nature, they like to dig the burrow and they stay under the ground. The temperature in the tunnel is, uh, in winter, is uh, hotter and warmer than outside. Uh, like I said, is uh, the in winter it's getting very hot, very cold in winter, minus 37 sometimes. But inside the tunnel, the temperature stays uh, between like five to ten degree. Yeah. Oh, and uh, they have a specific place, specific tunnel for uh, do they poop and pee. That means, uh, like human beings, we use the toilet. They have a specific place for uh, do their business. So you can pot, uh, you can train them, uh, or you can put a litter box, uh, litter box for them to do their business there. Uh, and they love to borrow you have to provide for them sand or um, if you have a big space you can provide for them a big enclosure with uh, like deep substrate so they can dig in and uh, enjoy their life uh, here um, the temperature here is a bit uh, hot all the year so I don't know how to bring him through hibernation or stuff or I don't know what to do with that. I have to do more research about it. And uh, yeah, they are very. They uh, you cannot keep them alone. Like chinchillas, uh, you they like to stay in group. At least two of them. Uh, you you have to uh, get two of them at least to keep them happy and healthy. Um, yeah, that's uh, for, uh, that's for uh, prairie dogs. Beautiful animals, gorgeous, and uh, they are really heavy. <laughs> For the size, they are they get really heavy. They are very. Small. And the male, the males uh, are a little bit bigger than females. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna show you how he's eating, and. I think that's for today's video. If you have any questions about prairie dogs, you can ask me in comment below. I will come back to you as soon as possible. Yeah, see you guys. Yeah, this is the hay uh, I'm feeding the prairie dog. You see, 80% of the diet is uh, made of Timothy hay. And uh, you can give them fruit and all this kind of stuff. You want to come out, but honestly, I'm pissed off with him because uh, what happened? They are not great jumpers, but uh, they can climb quite easily. They uh, they not climb. They're not great jumpers like uh, chinchillas and other stuff. Ah, this is uh, how it, the water looks like. Uh, one more thing I forgot to say, um, you have to provide for them, if you want, if you are keeping them in a cage, uh, don't use a plastic cage because they can chew it down. Easily they can destroy the plastic cage. So plastic cage is not a good idea for prairie dogs. And you see they are very active animals, they like to have exercise in the wheel. And as you can see it's a big one, it's not small like hamster. This one is uh, designed for prairie dogs. They like to play. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was for today's video and I hope you enjoyed the video. The 
the floor is covered with my blood <laughs> this uh, prairie dog is a nasty one I'm gonna tame him and uh, yeah well, even though now he's eating out of my hand and stuff but I don't know why he don't like to be held I don't know why I don't have much experience with uh, prairie dogs uh, the one that I uh, interact with they were t totally fine but this one don't like to be held like chinchillas anyway uh, yeah <laughs> my finger uh, I'm gonna clean up here and that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time yeah this is happening when you are miss messing with prairie dogs yeah <laughs> today is the day I get bitten by all kind of animals reticulated python also bites me uh, prairie dog also bite me who else wanna bite me